just bought some new bib shorts. <clears throat> a lot of you may have experienced this, and it's kind of a mystery of cycling, but the more you cycle, it uh, makes your clothes stretch. So a lot of the old shorts that I had uh, were just like uncomfortably large. So I thought it was time to get some new bib shorts over the over or near the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, found some on sale for 20 bucks a pop. Now normally I wouldn't spring for something like that uh, for bib shorts, but I thought, shoot, for a little less than 20 bucks, I think I picked these up for 19 dollars and change. Um, it's worth buying a couple of these just to try and. Uh, if I don't like them, at least it's something I can wear to commute. But actually, these are pretty good. So I got two pair of them here. So this pair is right side out. This pair is inside out. So you can kind of see this is, this is an important part of bibs for people who cycle a lot <clears throat> so these this looks like a busy chamois uh, and it is I mean it's got different thicknesses and different spots um, but this is all foam no this is gel I don't really like gel pads although you know no reason not to try them your mileage may vary but anyhow this is a nice chamois I haven't had a chance to really put you know 100 kilometers into these, so uh, looks can be deceiving in these matters, but <clears throat> yeah, not bad for 20 bucks for sure. Uh, the leggings have these, um, it's not like a band of silicone like you may see on many shorts, it's like this textured, but it is silicone. Uh, a lot of shorts will have just no silicone and just spandex here which is okay but I like this better but I like the straps that go over my shoulder to be you know structurally sound fairly substantial in that respect but fairly insubstantial in terms of the amount of heat that they're going to keep in uh, so I don't know that these are top of the line in that respect but the, it is kind of a perforated material just for purposes of comparison, this is a Lou Garneau set of bibs. Uh, so this would re this is something that would retail for uh, in the $120 range. Um, and you can see on the legging, so this is just spandex material. <clears throat> no silicone gripper. Uh, and you can see how it kind of rolls up. I don't really like that, but it's not too bad. I can get along with it. So one important dif difference here where the Louis Garneau uh, bib set is way ahead of the China bib set is uh, right here. I don't know if you can see that. That stitching is, it's, how can I say this? It's flat stitching, true, but it moves around, right? So it does protrude, and this is um, at the top of the pad. So probably, you know, not a big deal there, but look down here. This is going to be in your groin area. Uh, like I say, I haven't ridden these. You've got to take them out on a 60 mile ride or something like that to really know, but that could be a potential problem. And I've put a lot of miles in these. I've done multiple century rides on gravel and pavement. 100 mile, 100 mile plus. Uh, I did 100 miles in like 108 degree weather. Um, these are great. Uh, the only, really, the only complaint is, is price. Uh, and you can see they have different materials on the side, and some of this is uh, kind of textured. Uh, and, you know, I don't know if that contributes to aerodynamics or if that's just for looks, but it's nice. I like it. So this is like my type of top-of-the-line bib, although certainly you can pay a lot more for bibs, but I don't. But, you know, I don't know. The pads on these are probably going to be comparable. Uh, I seem to have more constitution down there compared to a lot of riders. I have another set of bibs here. These are performance bikes, ultra brand. Uh, so performance does have the little silicone gripper around the legs. I like that, that's nice. 
Uh, the big complaint I have are the performance bike bibs. So, by the way, these are like a $70 bib, so kind of a, a mid-tier type of a thing. Uh, my number one complaint with these is, is this pad right here and the way it's stitched up. But look, you see that? So that seems fairly inconsequential, but the, the pad itself, um, you know, I don't want to get into gory details of anatomy here, but this doesn't extend as far as other pads. So, you know, how can I say this? Here's what I call this. I call this the mini guillotine. Um, and if, if you do a long ride, especially on a hot day, uh, this can cause um, chafing in the most sensitive areas of your most sensitive areas. Uh, and it's, it can become medieval in its, uh, the exquisiteness of the pain that you can uh, suffer there. So you don't want to do that. But even again, you know, if somebody said, hey, we're going to go out for a a 50 mile ride, I wouldn't he hesitate to wear these, especially in the winter, I think they're probably going to be okay. Um, so, but one complaint I generally have with both of these bibs, <clears throat> craftsmanship is great, quality is great, durability is great, but just the, the overall tailor fit of these, the, uh, like, I'm a guy who has longer femurs compared to um, my torso, um, and like I say, you know, as I've descended uh, the scale of uh, cycling garment size, the, the length of the bib legs has just not kept up with my femur length, right? So these things are, you know, I wear a medium bib, fits my torso fine, but it's starting to look like hot pants on my legs. Uh, it's just hard to find. Um, you know, a mainstream bib that, that does that. So, uh, here is where these things really shine. Um, you know, they go all the way down my thigh uh, and fit snug about midway up my vastus medialis. So, yeah, these are, I don't know why, these are great for that. It's a great fit for me. So, if you're like a guy who has short femurs, you know, maybe this is better for you. Hello, Mike Bridges. These bibs are made for you, buddy. Good luck fitting your legs in there. Uh, but if, if, you're a, if you're a guy who maybe has longer femurs or I don't even know, normal femurs, you know, uh, maybe this is something to consider. Or if you just like to wear your shorts a little longer in your leg, I don't know. Um, but in any event, I'll put a link down below. Good pair of bibs for 40 bucks total. Went out, got some riding on these. Put in about 60 miles. Not an epic ride, but nice little ride. <clears throat> Absolutely no worries about comfort on these. No problems whatsoever. So I know with some of the stitching look like could be a problem. No problem whatsoever. Very comfortable. Definitely uh, for less than 20 bucks, although very little less, but basically 20 bucks. Um, great value for a bib short. So this is, this is the type of bib short you would pay uh, 50 or 60 bucks for at least if you bought it mainstream retail. It's that kind of quality. So Good value.